Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball Release and Excel Sites, and I'm here today to go over the new Sweet Spot Pro Flex with you. If you're not familiar with the Sweet Spot Pro or the Sweet Spot or the Sweet Spot 2, we've had many variations over the last 15, 20 years of this particular release. And why do we keep changing it? Because it's one of the most popular back tension trading aids on the market today. It's great for people that are intermediate, it's great for beginners, and it's great for professionals alike. This particular release is a back tension with an activator, or some people like to call it a safety. What this allows you to do, uh, and why it is so popular among, amongst beginners, is that it allows the archer to get to full draw in any position of the hand without having a misfire. That's the biggest problem and biggest feat that most beginning archers in back tension have is that fear of getting to full draw without having a misfire and popping themselves in the mouth. So the sweet spot over the years has been able to provide that and give that to the archers, that safety of getting the bow back comfortably without having a misfire. So how does the sweet spot work and how do I adjust the sweet spot? Well, the sweet spot has a pin that once the activator is clicked off, it locks that pin in position in relationship with the head that allows the back tension or the sear to move off the ledge. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate that uh, with, uh, by actually drawing here on my string bow and actually clicking the activator off and firing the release. So depending on uh, if I'm shooting on flat, uphill or downhill, the nice thing about this release is that it has the same amount of travel once you click this activator off. So when I get to full draw and I get comfortable, I can actually click this activator in a safe direction and now I'm ready to start my back tension. So now I can start pulling with my ring finger uh, or pulling my shoulder blades together to get the release to fire. One of the most frequent questions I get about the Sweet Spot and the Sweet Spot Pro Flex release is how to let the release down if you're in the middle of a shot sequence. So I'm gonna demonstrate on how to invert the pressure on your index finger to let the release down to ensure that it doesn't fire when you activate the activator. So if you're at full draw and you're in the process of shooting and you click off your safety and you overhold and you decide in your mind you wanna let down, you gotta treat this release just like a, any other back tension release. So you need to invert your fingers and put the pressure all on your index finger relieving the pressure from the other two fingers, and then activate the safety switch or the activator. So now I can, again, let down in any manner without the release misfiring. So I'm gonna demonstrate that again. You're at full draw, you click the safety off, you're ready to shoot, all of a sudden, ah, this is not the shot for me. I wanna invert my fingers, then activate the activator, and then my release is free again and I can let the bow down safely. Something that you get with this release that you don't get with a conventional back tension release is that same amount of travel uh, if you're opened up or you're closed up like shooting downhill. So to illustrate that, I'll kind of do it drastically uh, or dramatically so you can see what I'm talking about. But once you get to full draw, most archers, if they're shooting downhill or uphill, should always bend at the waist. In doing so, some people do that while they're off the target, so they have to either lower their arm or raise their arm, depending on which direction, to get on the target. So if you lower your arm and you're in a downhill position, that's going to make a conventional back tension release fire a lot faster. The sweet spot, when you click it off and you've settled in on your target, you've got the same amount of travel as you would if you were static. Uphill, same thing. If you're uphill, your body's more closed off, so the release is going to feel like it takes more to get it to go off. So if you're uphill and you've already situated yourself in the target and you click the safety, on a conventional release, it's gonna make it feel like it's gotta go a lot farther to get it to fire. But with the sweet spot, it's that same travel that you have adjusted on the bottom of the release. So with a 50 thousandths Allen wrench, there's one set screw on this release and it makes it totally simple to adjust and you simply turn the uh, set screw clockwise to get the sear closer to the edge, making it faster, or counterclockwise 
and small increments I must mention go a long way. So you want to go about a sixteenth of a turn at most for each an adjustment. So counterclockwise is going to make this release a lot slower. So with that being said, another thing that you need to remember about the sweet spot is with a conventional back tension release, you have the ability to shoot with or without a click. The sweet spot always without a click. If you want to kind of visualize or, or think of the click being the sound of the safety clicking off, that's your click. But the actual release, once you activate it, does not have a click. Other features on the sweet spot Pro Flex, which is our latest version, uh, are the adjustable patented uh, flex finger pieces that we own. Uh, you'll see this on a lot of our products. Uh, this allows you to make the release a three finger or a four finger like you see here. With each finger having radial adjustment, whether it be the third finger uh, or the fourth finger like seen here. So that's something that will screw right on here and you've got a three or four finger or you can take them both off uh, and use it as a two finger as well. So that's the new Sweet Spot Pro Flex. For more information or more videos like this, check out our YouTube page or www.trueball.com.